Get ready. Hey Disney lovers, welcome back to another Falcon and Winter Soldier review. I do apologize that the live did not go ahead today. I am having some technical difficulties with connecting the streaming service with YouTube and also my Google internet seems to be playing up now since I've been watching trying to get it to work. So hopefully we will sort that out and get it up and running ready for next week so we can go back to doing a live and chat with you whilst we're doing this. So I'm going to carry on doing my Falcon and Winter Soldier review so this one will be probably a lot shorter because I won't be reading the chat room this time um, and this is for episode three and uh, just one quick um, announcement just to say that our patreon is now live so if you want to support us there then you could go to patreon.com forward slash skybot film and your support really is necessary for us to continue as proof with this technical difficulties it's like the more um, that we can uh, earn and uh, the better things will be for you because we can make sure that there's no technical hitches like this we can afford the best equipment and things like that um, but we've got plenty of rewards uh, to go through i will be showing you some of those on camera later um, in this video but first let's just carry on with today's review of falcon and winter soldier again apologies um about um they're not being alive so yes we should just do our best um <laughs> there we go um right so episode three i'm gonna um quickly do um a non-spoiler a uh, bit now because there's not that much non-spoilery and um, mainly all spoilers because we are well into the series now uh, so as i usually say as it goes on and uh, the uh, spoilers um, the non-spoilers gets a lot shorter uh, but i'll pop up a spoiler warning when i'm about to talk about spoilers but let's have a look at the uh, non-spoilers so um this one i thought was a, a very nice gone back to slow it's gone back to being a, a bit of a slow episode yes there's some really cool um, fight scenes and things in it those were really awesome but the pace was brought right back down again it's like where last week it brought it back up and this week it just brought it right back down again which i thought the first two episodes were going to be slow episodes and then from three four five six it was going to go whew, but um obviously not um we get introduced to um, two new slash old characters, um, and it was nice to um, to see their interaction together. And a few um, a few gaps were filled um, in the storyline between uh, Civil War um, and now, um, because if you think about it, so much has happened in between Civil War and this point here. Because you had Infinity. If you think about the Avengers um, storyline, got Infinity War and Endgame in that so you got the blip and everything so um there was a pretty decent uh, bit of uh, story fillers um there uh, there's a part um, where the music uh, plays and um you instantly connect to a certain scene in uh, well certain scenes in one of the previous marvel films which i thought was a really nice touch because instantly you connect that song to that storyline and it is so yeah that was really good um on there i do enjoy that um what else can i say about um non-spoilery um again still not liking sam um the falcon not liking his character at all he has, he has a couple of one-liners which are funny um but other than that really can't stand the character um and uh, but definitely uh, warm into Bucky um, so I do like Winter Soldier now um, which is good so probably after watching the series I might go back and watch um, Captain America with the Soldier and Civil War um, and see uh, if, if I enjoy them better with him um, because I've never really um, liked that, his character um, so hopefully now I will but I think that is it for the spoiler spoilers um so if you haven't watched it yet and you don't want any spoilers then i do recommend pausing the video now but make sure to check out our patreon um for lots of really cool uh, rewards I'm just going to show you one of them right now which is the badge that we're giving away um as the ultimate tier edition um on um on our patreon for april oh 
I need to bring back your right. Yeah, there we go. Um, so it says, I'm a Skybot Disney lover um, on there. That is just one um, of uh, four physical rewards that you will be receiving this month um, on our Patreon. But we have so much digital content available on there from uh, Disney podcasts. So we go through every single Disney film from the start and we review them honestly. Um, it's quite funny. Um, I was uh, doing a bit of a sneak peek preview um, of it uh, yesterday and it's hilarious. So if you want to have a little look at what the sneak peek is, tomorrow we'll be releasing a video. So on Saturday, the um, 3rd of April, I will be releasing a video with more details on Patreon and all the rewards and some sneak peeks uh, behind some of the digital content on there but i'm not going to dwell any more on that so your spoiler warning is now on there we go all right so um the opening was quite interesting um it, said it was an advert um about um coming back into society um after being blipped um so i was quite interesting um that that was there um yeah i don't really know why it was there it didn't make much sense in this episode and we're back um Everything is just falling apart on me today, guys. I do not know what is going on. The camera just decided to stop working. <sighs> okay. I think we should just scratch today and, and start over again. Anyway, right. Okay, so yeah, there was an advert um, about um, coming back into society. There was like the, um, an organization that um, worked on that. I've got to make sure I'm looking at you and not that one now. Um, I'm sorry, I look a bit yellow now <laughs> because it's a weird, different color. But there we go. Um, I'm really not having a good day today, today guys. <laughs> All right, let's scratch this. Let's tune in next week. It'll be much better next week. Honest, much better. But there we go. Right, um, and right at the start, you have the cap, um, and he's uh, coming to Munich. Um, I think it's where they were holding um, that girl with the ginger hair, um, the super serum in her veins. Um, I think it was where she was staying, and um, he punches this guy, and it's like this big build-up, and all of a sudden it's like, ooh. <laughs> it's just like an underwhelming punch. Um, it's like, I've got in my notes, but it was pathetic. Um, but it's just like, oh, okay. He, he slightly punched him. It wasn't like even a windy punch. It was just like, mm. <laughs> it's like, because the sound effects make it and everything and the whole action and stuff, but it was just like all downplayed really. Um, so I really, yeah, I, I know what it's doing. It's painting this new captain to be a bad guy. Um, and he's um, he's starting to get more aggressive and things now, and um, yeah. So we're back on that camera now. Don't know why that um, turned off. There we go. Um, at some point, it might switch off, and I'll just switch back to the other camera. Um, um so um, yes. Yeah, so my part uh, part in the spoiler uh, free section when I said about music. So when you see Zemo, um, first of all, um, you've got the Civil War um, themed music in there. Um, and that was all with um, with him, which uh, featured him and stuff. And I really like that. Um, it's, it's a really cool um, um, song. It's like it reminds me of something else, but I can't put my, I should have written it down. But I can't put my finger on it right now. Um, but um, yeah, it's really nice. Um, touch that was because you instantly connect those two together the film and the character uh, together in this and when Bucky sees him first of all um, he starts saying the um, uh, the uh, the keywords like um, train homecoming whatever it is I bet there's some people out there who can <laughs> just <laughs> off the top of their head without googling it and when they can just pop it straight down um, I don't remember it um, and which are the, the keywords to control the winter soul, yes, he says it, and um, Bucky's like, that nah, doesn't work anymore. Um, and then I just like the fact that when Bucky then starts talking to um, 
to Sam about um, how he would break uh, Zemo out of prison. And um, it's like really casual. And even Sam says, like, you're very casual about this. Um, and it's kind of like um, like prison break, break films and stuff. It's like where they've got a plan, kind of like Fast and Furious and things, where they like, they'll uh, lay down the plan as the action is going on. So then they'll cut to and from um from that and then obviously zemo comes through the uh uh through the door and he's there and he, so he is the character in that purple mask he is the baron so it's like that is interesting uh, because i thought that was going to be like the leader of these um these kids that um, have got the super serum but obviously not um so he is going to be the big bad i think towards the end of the series um uh, when um, the three of them are on a plane um, heading off to wherever they were going I can't remember where they were going not um, this city wasn't it um, Zemo um, is trying to get into Bucky's head uh, because he's got um, the book uh, which he writes in which is Steve's book uh, where uh, Sam give Steve um, all these songs to, to listen to and they have a whole conversation about that which I really didn't think it was needed in this episode and um yeah so he's um zemo is trying to get into bucky's head by like um what are these names and blah 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 and it's like mm, okay um and then zemo uh compares uh the captain um so captain america to the red skull um it's like it wasn't directly didn't say that but he was like saying um he was like oh, you went to uh to germany to um, to take down another symbol, um, did you not do something like that? Um, the Red Skull. Um, so he's pretty much like comparing himself to um, uh, to them, uh, taking down symbols because he wanted to take down the Avengers because of everything that happened to Sokovia um, and things. So yeah, uh, boom, boom, boom. And then when they're in the the bar and um, Falcon is um, is grinning tiger or whatever his name was, um, and he has a drink and they slice open a snake and put bits in the drink, um, he he hesitates um, to drink it, and it's like that should have rung bells. Um, it's like if it if it's your favorite drink, you don't go, oh, this is my favorite drink, like that. You you just go. Bump and knock it back. You wouldn't say this is my favorite drink. Um, so that was again poor writing. I thought um, for that, um, either poor writing or just a crap character. <laughs> if that's if that's how you have to write him, um, I just think it's a bad character. But um, again, I'm not a big lover of the Falcon. Um, but what was really interesting then is when um, Zim, uh, Zemo talks to Bucky like he's an attack dog it's like Winter Soldier attack I don't know whether he's playing a part there or whether he is still trying to get into Bucky's head um, which is quite interesting and uh, Sam's phone goes off during this meeting and they like say answer it um, I'm going to on to speakerphone and it's like and it's his sister and it's like this is not going to end well it's like uh, that was to me that was all a bit like okay um but yeah that happens and they get shot um and yeah so that happens and then they meet sharon finally get to see sharon i was starting to think it's like we're in episode three now and we haven't seen sharon where is she but she arrives um and she kicks butt really um and i love that um she was a really awesome character though um she found that lab very quickly um for one and also uh, she um she says when she leaves them because uh, I, I thought it's like well, she's on all the promotional work and then but she's literally on there for like 15 20 minutes something like that it's like what um it's like thinking well, maybe she'll appear later in the in the show but then when she goes back to the car she says we got um we got a, p a big problem two of them meaning frank falcon and the winter soldier which makes me think is she the power uh, broker possibly or working for the power broker and that's why she is safe and 
can get all this information uh, because she just wanted to know what they would do going into the um, the lab and finding out, um, probably trying to find out where the serum had went, uh, gone because it was stolen from the power broker. So she could have been working with the power broker to, for them, to set them two off. But then when Zemo then, um, got to turn back to this camera, when Zemo um, kills uh, the scientist, then um, it's like, whoa, what's going on? It's like, um, they just killed um, them. So that could be the big problem. So it's technically should have been three brick problems, but there we go. Um, what else we got on here? And yeah, and Sam promises to clear um, Sharon's name. How? He's got no power. He's a freelancer for the A Force now. That's it. He's got no power at all. He's can't go. I'm gonna save the the world. It's like you were always a B character anyway. Um, but there we go. Um, let's have a look. Alright, just having a quick little check over my notes. He, he does do um, um, a funny line when he's running away from the bar. Um, Falcon, he says, uh, I can't run in these heels, which is uh, quite funny. Um, oh, the argument as well with um, Sharon and um, uh, uh, Sam as well. Um, saying it's like, you were cleared. Um, I wasn't and stuff. Because um, she's been on the run ever since um, the... Uh, the Civil War um, film, because we didn't really know that she just disappears off the um, off the radar. She didn't, she's not mentioned or anything. I don't think she's mentioned in Infinity War um, at all. So she just disappears, um, which is quite random, really. Um, so it was nice to to fill that gap um, there. And that's what I was saying in the spoiler free section about them um, filling up the the gaps and things like that. Um, Bum, bum, bum. I'm just gonna quickly wrap this up now. I think. Oh, the explosion of the lab that would have killed them all. To be honest, it's like if it blows up those um, trailers, um, which weigh a lot, and they were right next to it as well. Yeah, they would have been incinerated. Um, but there we go. <laughs> That's just my gripe. Um, boop, boop, boop. and then Cap then um, goes to investigate how Zemo has um, gone and he's going to go after Bucky and um, uh, Sam now um, and he says um, just to get the job done um, they won't uh, they won't worry about how so yeah obviously bad guy now um, he's he's going to go off on one and um turn evil and that's probably when um they can best him and steal the shield because bucky has um some lower form of the super serum in his veins and a titanium arm and the falcon's got the the wings um he hasn't got much shells <laughs> but uh yeah um oh Bucky says a really good line, is that because like Sam is like saying, if I wasn't gonna give it the shield uh, away, I was gonna destroy it, and um, and Bucky's like, um, I will take it before you destroy it. It's like, yes, um, do that. You will be much better with the shield than a Falcon. Um, and yeah, they find out about. It's like they find out things way too quickly and easy in um, in this at the moment. It's like they found out where the trailer was uh, really quickly um, that same day, um, with, like literally within a couple of hours, really. And they were at the site. And then whilst they were on the plane, they phoned up asking about this certain refugee. Um, and um, literally within like two or three minutes, there's a phone call back when she's dead. How do you know? <laughs> and it's like, what? How can you be that quick? <laughs> but um, yeah, there you go. It's just like little bits like that. It's like I would you could have waited till the next episode um, to reveal that. So like at least give us like twelve hours <laughs> in between, not two minutes. But there we go. That's um, that's my gripe. So um, it was getting better, but this one is like this one's it's like. Episode 1, didn't like. Episode 2, really liked. Episode 3, in between the two. Um, so I'm just hoping it's going to get better. Um, things can only get 
better. Let's hope. Um, but yeah, it's like that's that's what I hope anyway. Um, because it's it seems like it's ramping up in England Room. It's a really massive roller coaster. It's like it's building this up. It's like, oh this is cool. Oh. <laughs> it's like right, okay. But that's just my thoughts. Anyway, I know loads of people are absolutely loving it. Um and rightfully so. Um it is great. Is I'm not saying it's bad whatsoever. It's like um I'm not a big lover of Agents of Shield or Agent, um I haven't seen Agent Agent Carter to be honest. But I'm not a lover of that kind of genre of television. Um because it feels very television. With these, the um, One Division, Mandalorian, um Falcon and the Winter Soldier, they are cinematic TV shows, which is awesome, which I love. It's like things like um, Game of Thrones before the crap ending. Um, that was great because it was cinematic. There's a massive long story to it. Um, and it's not just like there's a story, a long story, but it's episodically split up. Um, and it's like, okay, I don't like that linear um not linear, but like episodic um, TV shows, and obviously the quality and everything is far superior in these ones. Um, it because they they have the color grading and things like that is to match the cinematic universe because they do they want they, it is part of the cinematic universe. There, um, I did say this isn't going to be as long as my normal ones, but it's still 20 minutes um, so far. But I'm gonna pop off the spoiler warning now and pop on back on the patreon link um i'm just going to show you a few more um of our rewards that we've got coming up um so first of all i just want to show you these amazing artworks um let me bring it back here um i could actually what i'll do is i shall focus in so you can see them more clearly here yeah there we go so look how awesome these are. So um, Cynical Beast Art done that one of our little Skybot. And then these are done by Andrew Genner Art. And look how awesome they are. So they are for our card RPG game, our role play card game. And um, yeah, they're just really awesome. So each month you will get one of these cards. And um, on our Patreon, there are lots of different uh, supporting information to go with them. I've made up a whole story about Skybot and um, where he comes from, um, what he does and stuff, which is pretty awesome, really. Um, and so this is the first card you will get in April. You will only get this in April, but we will be opening it up on an online store coming in the future. But at the moment, you can only get these cards by signing up to Patreon dot um, com forward slash skybot film and this is your april uh, card as well as a button badge and two awesome stickers i don't have the stickers with me but let's just go through some of these uh, button badges so i did show earlier and um, let's have a little bit of a closer look now that i zoomed in on that and focused on it Oop. all right let's try and get um, the best view and focus on me there we go so that one, that's the Disney lover badge there. But we do also have um, these badges coming soon, which says stay calm and watch what's on Disney Plus UK. And in black, which you can't see, is the is our YouTube channel and not the what's on Disney Plus YouTube channel. This is for us, not um, the other one. Um, any cosplayers out there? So Falcon and Winter Soldier will bring on lots of cosplays. Uh, so it's got a badge saying I'm a cosplayer and proud. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna see about getting these ones done as uh, the larger button badges uh, because that is, it's really cool uh, to have that. I think um, as a big button badge, but in a little tiny one, it's fine. We've also got next, oh, this month. Yeah, we're in April now. This month we are launching uh, Johnny's Doctor Who series, which is called Who News. Who News. Um, on there um and that is the logo so you, next month i think we're going to be giving out this badge and then finally we have the skybot gaming um badge um there so for you and again the artwork for this one is by cynical beast art so go check him out on 
uh, Twitter. That's uh, where he is. Um, there we go. So those are some of our um, rewards there. Um, I don't have the stickers to hand. They are all downstairs um, awaiting shipping to you guys. But we've got a Disney is Life sticker and a I'm a Skybot um, patron um, sticker for this month. And I will be starting to look at next month's um, stickers soon. And also on Patreon, um, you can vote for what rewards you want, what designs you like and things like that before I send them off to be printed. Um, so the... Uh, the highest uh, voted ones will be printed um, then because they do cost quite a bit of money um, to print and things but it's just a, a bit of a thank you for you um, for supporting us so our uh, digital uh, tier uh, so it has lots of stuff and uh, do check out I've got a um, a short um, uh, like a less detailed video up on the moment um, about Patreon that'll be at the end of the video as well and I might pop it in the description as well um, so you just have a little look but tomorrow there will be a longer more detailed one and there's so much digital content guys absolutely loads and that is for £5 per month um, or for the uh, the physical rewards um, it is £10 per month and as we get more um, more patrons so say if we get um, 50 patrons then we will increase the amount of rewards we can pop in uh, at a time because we can afford to do that and um, because it costs a lot of money to get these um, drawn up and, and designed and then printed um, because you can't just buy one you have to buy a load uh, but yeah um, it's it's really uh, great because like the card game would be a great fun for yourself or with uh, friends and uh, we're going to do a how-to video um, on that very soon but there is um, a how-to guide on patreon at the moment we also do have a support class tier which is literally just supporting us you pay one pound one dollar one euro whatever your one um, is in um, your country and that is just to support us we will be posting out um, different digital rewards now and then um, like um, I did talk to you guys about possibly watching um, uh, as a live stream um, the episodes or the films um, and then uh, commenting um, on it uh, but and then do the review after but what i'm going to do is i'm going to leave that to patrons um only um not for everything i'm not going to do it for all of them it's like these morning ones i'm not going to get up early enough and make my, my myself look a little bit more presentable um because i like to have my breakfast while i'm watching in these shows um so i won't be doing them for the morning ones but for um, when i'm doing the films or i'm watching things later and i'm doing a bit um, more so like say like um uh, binge watching um, a series or something like that i'll pop it on and um it'll be a link on patreon and you guys can watch along with me and i can uh, we can chat and also like if it is a film then i will give out a group watch link so the first five people can uh, watch along with me um there and um yeah um what else am I going to say? Boom, 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 boom. I think that's it, really. Um, there's just lots of stuff. Just check out the, the video, guys. It's um, the, the one video is about three or four minutes long, and the second video is 20 minutes long, which is more in-depth. And you've got um, a sneak peek of the Disney uh, podcast called Decast, and also the behind-the-scenes of our Silver Shroud and radio drama we done last year. Um, so, yeah, check that out. But I'm going to stop rabbiting on now. I'm going to leave you guys carry on with your days. Do please let me know in the comments what you thought about Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Are you looking forward to next week? Um, also, today is jam-packed with content. Um, let me know what you want to watch. I am going to go and watch the Ewok stuff right now because I'm interested. It's weird. So I'm interested in what that's going to be like. Um, but yeah, pop it in the comments. Just have a chat. Um, and please don't forget to share the video. That really does, does help us out. Share your video, um, all these videos with uh, your friends and other Disney lovers. And ask them to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. And uh, just to share it out as well. Um, and if you do see any adverts, please do let them play. If they are longer than 30 seconds, then I do not blame you for skipping them. But if they're less than 30 seconds, do please let them um, run. But yes, with that being said, we shall go. And I shall see you next time. Bye, guys.